Welcome back to the Ask the Expert series. We run this in conjunction with the International Business of Federated Hermes for our educational hub, ESG Clarity Intelligence. I'm Natalie Kenway, Global Head of ESG Insight, and I'm delighted to be continuing my chat with Sonia Lickman, a manager within the EOS team at Federated Hermes, and we're going to continue to talk about all things biodiversity. Hi, Sonia. Thanks again for joining me. Hello again, Natalie. So part one really set the scene for us in terms of why biodiversity is important to the world we live in, how it is linked to climate change. But let's find out how this translates into the investment world. So investors often struggle to connect those dots between nature and portfolios. How are you doing at the International Business of Federated Hermes? We know that our societies and economies are deeply embedded in nature. And all businesses, to varying degrees, are dependent on biodiversity and the ecosystem services that we talked about last time. At the same time, all businesses are impacting biodiversity in some ways through their operations and supply chains. And at the moment, that's primarily in negative ways. So those impacts and dependencies flow through to us as investors. And so it's really important that we get to grip with where the impacts and dependencies are so that we can address the associated risks and opportunities. As the International Business of Federated Hermes, we signed the Finance for Biodiversity Pledge in December 2020. And that commits us to doing five things by 2024 at the latest, collaborating and sharing knowledge, engaging with companies, measuring impact, setting targets and reporting. And so we're working on how to implement that both within investment decisions and stewardship. And we're also collaborating a lot um, with peers in the sector on how we can take this forwards as the financial sector. Right, and can you give us some examples of where you've engaged with companies on their biodiversity impact? At the start of last year, we published a white paper called Our Commitment to Nature. And in that paper, we called on companies to commit to having a net positive impact on biodiversity throughout their operations and supply chains, preferably by by 2030 at the latest. Now, that's an ambitious goal. And before we start talking about the, the net positive, there's a lot of work that needs to be done to eliminate negative impacts that, that companies are having on biodiversity. In this paper, we set out an engagement framework with five pillars. So explaining our expectations on governance, on measurement, on strategy, on targets and and on disclosure. And now we're, we're engaging with companies on these various areas. So for instance, companies in the food sector are often very exposed to biodiversity risks and opportunities. That's because of the the long agricultural supply chain, the high land use, the contribution to climate change and often pollution through through chemical runoff. So engaging with companies in the food and beverage sector on issues such as deforestation, transitioning to sustainable proteins, um, sustainable agriculture that minimizes the use of chemical fertilizers and, and pesticides are really critical areas that we're trying to tackle in our engagements with companies. Can you explain the purpose of the Task Force for Nature Related Financial Disclosures? We've, we've had the Task Force for Climate Related Financial Disclosures, now we've been looking a bit more at the TNFD. And how will companies use this to ass- assess their biodiversity impact? The TNFD is a really exciting development in this area because at the moment, company disclosures on biodiversity are are relatively limited and that makes it difficult for us as, as investors to assess what's going on. So the TNFD is going to be really important in standardizing what what's expected from companies and investors in terms of disclosing impacts, dependencies and the associated risks and opportunities. And so I think it will really move the needle forwards in in how companies are disclosing their impacts and therefore improve how we how we invest and how we engage with companies on these issues. Fantastic. Well, that has all been really fascinating just to understand a bit more how it links up with the world around us and with the impacts that investment portfolios can have in terms of mitigating biodiversity loss. Thank you so much for your time, Sonia. It's been great chatting with you. Thanks very much for having me, Natalie.